Particle accelerators are devices that use electromagnetic fields to propel charged particles, such as electrons, positrons, and ions, to high speeds and energies. They are used for various purposes, such as studying the fundamental nature of matter, producing medical isotopes, and generating powerful X-rays for research and industry. However, conventional particle accelerators are often very large and expensive, requiring kilometers of tunnels and complex infrastructure. That's why scientists are developing new types of particle accelerators that use plasma instead of metal tubes to accelerate particles. Plasma is an ionized state of matter that consists of free electrons and positive ions. By shooting a powerful laser or an electron beam into a plasma, a strong electric field can be created that can push particles to very high energies over a short distance. Recently, an international research group has made significant progress in this field by combining two different plasma technologies for the first time and building a novel hybrid accelerator. The team performed two complementary experiments at the Helmholtz Zentrum Dresden Rossendorf (HZDR) and at the Ludwig Maximilians Universität Munich (LMU), where they used a laser-driven plasma accelerator followed by an electron-driven plasma accelerator. This hybrid approach has several advantages over the single methods. It can achieve higher particle energies, better beam quality, and more flexibility in tuning the parameters. It can also reduce the requirements for the laser system, making it more compact and affordable. The researchers hope that their concept will advance accelerator development and pave the way for new applications in science and medicine. For example, they envision using their hybrid accelerator to produce highly brilliant X-ray sources that can be used for imaging, spectroscopy, and therapy. To learn more about this breakthrough, let's hear from some of the experts involved in this research. Dr. Ari Ehrman with HCDR, we have demonstrated for the first time that we can combine two different plasma acceleration techniques in a single device. This opens up new possibilities for designing compact and powerful accelerators that can be tailored to specific needs. Dr. Thomas Kurz with HCDR, we have used a laser pulse to generate a plasma wave that can accelerate electrons to about 100 MeV over a few millimeters. Then we have injected these electrons into another plasma wave driven by an electron beam from a conventional accelerator. This second stage can boost the electron energy up to 1 GV over about 10 centimeters. Dr. Alberto Martinez de la Osa with LNU. We have developed a numerical model that can simulate the dynamics of the hybrid accelerator and optimize its performance. We have also shown that we can control the properties of the accelerated electron beam by adjusting the parameters of the laser pulse and the electron beam. Dr. Jens Osterhoff with DESY. We have used our free electron laser, FLAS, to generate X-rays from the accelerated electron beam. We have shown that we can produce coherent X-rays with tunable wavelength and high brightness. These X-rays could be used for various applications, such as studying ultrafast processes in matter or imaging biological samples with high resolution. The hybrid accelerator concept could also be extended to other types of particles, such as positrons or ions. These particles could have important applications in fields such as high energy physics or cancer therapy. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Another video is also posted in the top corner if you are interested in more videos like this.